We've got some trucks in the shop for head gasket work. When the motor is out, we have full access to all the coolers. One of the things that we'll like to do on all the jobs is to clean the cooler stack up. The radiator, after it's been separated from the intercooler, there's a large amount of dirt buildup in between the two cores that just hosing out, you'll never be able to get that clean. If you look closely in the fins, you'll be able to see that buildup as well. So to make sure that we're getting the optimum cooling, we're gonna go ahead and clean these up while they're apart. We split the radiator and intercooler apart. We would also do the AC condenser and the transmission cooler as well. We've lined them up here against our wall on our wash bay. And what we're gonna do is use a power washer and some mild detergent to try and open these cores up. In this case, we're using a mixture of Purple Panther, reduced down about 10 to one. You can also use Simple Green or any type of mild degreaser. Be sure that your power washer is spraying in a fan pattern. You do not want to stream. We want to make sure that we're not going to damage any fins. Hold the power washer straight on to the radiator, just like we're doing here, so that it's blowing straight through the fins. We don't want to come at this at an angle and take a risk of rolling over or damaging any of these fins. In our case, we're also using hot water through the power washer to help with the cleaning process. The dirt and debris that we're washing out is a buildup over time from road tar, oils, bugs, grit, and anything else that we're on the road with. Over time, that just builds up and holds on to all that dust. If air can't get through the radiator, it can't pull the heat away from the coolant. You can see the amount of dirt and grime being washed away from behind. It's going to take a couple times flipping it over in between washes and just keep working at it. One of the things that we did before we cleaned this is prepare for it. We put some plugs in the transmission cooler inlets. We'll want to plug off anything like that to avoid water getting into it. We're not worried so much about the radiator inlet and outlet as it's just water. Here's our radiator all cleaned up with our flashlight. We can see that all that dirt and debris is gone out of there. 